Hey guys, it's Steven with my tool review. Today I'm going over circular saw versus band saws versus hack saws versus sawzalls. So I did a couple of shorts showing which one would cut quickest through a uh, shallow unistrut. And on the top of my list would be the circular saw. I feel it is the cleanest and fastest cut available. Um, just be very careful. Make sure you guys wear your PPE, your gloves, safety glasses. If you're not wearing long sleeves, make sure that you have Kevlar sleeves on because this guy throws up a lot of metal shavings. Um, I've had a couple instances where I've even wore a face shield, safety glasses, and I've still gotten a metal shard in my eyeball. So it's not fun. Um, so always wear your PPE. Uh, the next one I'd have to say would be the, the Sawzall. I feel like with this one though, you definitely need to have someone uh, with you. Uh, it is a two hand operated tool. So you definitely need someone supporting what you're cutting. Um, I feel like this is better for cutting bigger things though. Uh, deep strut, double strut, um, one or two inch EMT. Just make sure that whatever you're cutting is secure, whether someone's holding it or you're using a vise of some sort. But uh, this one did pretty good. Next one is going to be the Milwaukee M12 bandsaw. Um, I personally like this one just because it is more compact and it, it's easier to hold and cut. It cuts very, very smooth. I really like it. But obviously, if you're cutting something a lot bigger, you're going to need the big brother, which is the Milwaukee M18 fuel bandsaw. Now, this guy, too, also cuts like butter. Um, I have no complaints. Obviously, it's just a little bit bigger. It does have the handle on top, as you guys can see, for two-handed. But for the most part, you can really cut with one-handed with this if you really wanted to. Next is going to be the um, Milwaukee Fuel Hacksaw. I really wouldn't recommend using the Hacksaw. This one is definitely coming in uh, fifth place. Um, I think it's more of a... If you got it and you don't have anything else available, go ahead and use it. But I just feel like it doesn't have the most power available, but um, it will cut. I mean, it'll cut. It just takes some time. And um, as you guys know, the hacksaw is meant for one handed operation. So you can actually hold the item that you're cutting with your other hand. But uh, it just doesn't have the greatest amount of power compared to like the Sawzall. And then last place is the little brother is the Milwaukee M12 hacksaw. I really don't think you guys should be using this to cut metal. Um, it just do does not have the power. Even with the metal cutting blade, it struggled. It really, really struggled. I recommend using something else uh, of the other options available, obviously. But um, if you really have nothing else or if this is what you can afford, you know, uh, use what you got. But remember, always be safe when you're cutting your guys' stuff. Um, if you can get some help to support the item that you're cutting, always ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help and make sure that you guys always wear your PPE and be safe out there. All right, take care.